Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning a few more features as well. One of them is going to be the line, so create line endpoints, and another one is going to be the trimming feature. So let's get started on that. Now we remember where we want to connect our lines. So we're going to join a line from here to here and another one from here to here. That's the main reason we drew these parallel lines intersection at certain, uh, intersecting at certain points. So let's go ahead and get started. Come over here to the check mark or to the little arrow right here and then click on create line endpoint. So let's go ahead and go move over to this intersection point right here. Left click on it and then just drag the arrow to this point right here. Now, a few things I want to show you real quick. There's a feature right here for vertical button and a f uh, another one for horizontal. If you actually click the vertical, you will notice that even if I move my mouse to the left and right, the line stays vertical. If I move it to the horizontal, Wherever I move my mouse, the line remains horizontal. And I can choose a distance right here to right here to how much I want it to be. The angle will not work if any of those are checked because it's only going to be horizontal or vertical. I'm going to uncheck vertical. And that's when you see my angle now is highlighted in yellow. That means I can change it. If I click on vertical or horizontal, you see it's grayed out, so I cannot use it. So only distance is used. So I'm going to uncheck this and then just go ahead over here and make sure I go over this intersection until I see a little white uh, square. That means that's where it's going to snap to. I'm going to left click over here and then go over here again and then left click on the same intersection point and then come down to over here at the bottom and then left click. There you go. We just created those two points. Go ahead and click on the check mark so you can exit the feature. And what we're going to do now is we're going to be trimming all around the square. To trim, all you have to do is come over here to edit, come down to trim break, and then trim break extend. Now there's a few features that we'll be learning a little bit later in this set tutorial, or if you already have seen our milling video tutorial, uh, you'll learn, you've already known what these are. We're going to come over here to divide delete, and this will basically delete only the sections that you we have highlighted. And basically what we want to do is come over here and make it look just like this now remember we don't want this line or this line here those lines are only just to show us where the shapes are being are changed so let's go back over here and let's start trimming as you can see you go over any line or any section you want and you'll see it turned uh, dashed the line is dashed now that means that's the line you want to delete so let's go ahead and start by deleting these shapes right here I'm gonna delete it until it looks just like my shape I'm gonna delete this line over here this line right here, over here. Basically, go ahead and go over your entire sketch. Make sure it looks just like our sketch. So there we go. This is going to be half of your sketch. So remember, we're not doing a mirror feature. So if you've seen our milling exercise, you're familiar with the mirror feature. We would have to delete this line to mirror it. But we're not going to mirror it. Uh, we're going to be keeping it the same. This is going to be our finished sketch. So from this is where we, we set up our stock to machine it. So there we go, we are done with our uh, first sketch for the first exercise in lathe and we are ready to do start setting up our stock for this uh, exercise. 